In this tutorial we'll take a look at the X132 Cocktail Table Plus Template. This unit can be found in the Furnishings Library under the Furniture category. It is designed to be constructed from rigid materials such as foam and honeycomb boards. The original design was just a static cocktail table, but with all the new options that were added it became the Cocktail Table Plus. It's a great item for trade shows and displays. Its parametric resizing and multi-configurations make it suitable for many applications. If you're ready, let's see what it can do. Let's um, take it in the 3D. I want you to see this is what the original table looks like. And you can see that it's a cute little table that um, will let you do a number of things. Let's just kind of have a look at it, and uh, that's pretty cool. So what are we going to do with this table? Let's see. We're going to go back to our 2D mode, and, um, and let's just start making some changes to the table so we can see. We go into dimensions. There's quite a number of things that we can do. Um, let's start by looking at the, the tops that we have. Um, we have a square top, and it's, as you can see, it's got chamfered corners. I got the corners set at 120, but you can set that to zero, and um, you're going to end up with square corners on the table. If you want to, also, you can set this, the chamfers, and then by using the radius here, you can kind of smooth out the edges there, and we'll just um, make those about 30 millimeters just to give a little bit of a round corner. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And um, there you go. That's a nice little rounded corner. And as we started out, we have the round top. We also have an octagon top that is a full octagon. And then we have the oval top, which will not be an oval until you change the shape of the table because obviously it's still the same width and depth so it's going to be round. Um, let's just change it. Let's make it 800 wide and you'll see that that automatically gives us that oval top which is um, really nice. It also, in, if we go back to the octagon, you see we keep our, our ends of the octagon um, even shape and then the, across the middle is lengthened. If we go to our rounded corners, you can see that now we have a half round oval shaped table and also we have a our square table. Now one thing to note with the round table is if we change our radius again and give it a, um, a smaller radius, we're going to end up with rounded corners, a nice rounded corner table like that, um, which is quite nice. So the table uh, top has a lot of options that we can do. The overhang here is um, the distance that it overhangs the width and the depth of the table. And then we have a check box here for hold down straps. And what those are, you see the little um, diagram here, or, or this is actually just a marking for you to glue these straps on. You, these green lines are cut at a, um, a 90 degree conic uh, or 90 degree uh, V groove. And then you can fold this over, glue it on to the top, and these straps will hang down to where you can punch holes through and have some little bolts to hold the top on, which makes it real nice for um, a knockdown table if you want to use it in a display booth or, or take it somewhere and, and uh, flat pack it and then construct it. So um, that's really a nice way to use this. If we go down to the um, down to the legs now we can start to see some things happening here. I mean we can there are so many things that you can do with this that um, 
I, I doubt if I could even come up with all the, all the different solutions that we could do. But just um, to start a few, I'm going to this center and end points from the top down and from the bottom up. That's the distance top down to here and bottom up to here. And then your center or your middle is the center of this radius that we see here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set these two outside ones to zero. And you'll see there that that's an interesting looking uh, table right there that, that we made just by changing that, um, changing those to zero. So there's a table that we do it, uh, that we can use. And I'll, I'm going to set these to 200. That will give us um, Yeah, that's kind of a um, different shape table and let's go back to 2D so we can look at that better you can see you get a lot of different shapes out of this by playing with the dimensions so I'm going to change this to, to 500 and now I've got a shape similar to what we started with um, you can also change um, the radiuses, which will give us uh, again a different kind of um, feel to it and a different look to it. Um, you have to play with these and see what you can come up with. And obviously, it's endless what you can do. Now, when you get down to here, what we have is. Um, inset from the top and that's this dimension here and that's off of the width so right now it's just set to to 50 I'm going to set it to um, let's just go to 75 and and then we can also change the middle inset to let's go to 200 and see what that does there you go, and that's, again, you're changing that, that table look uh, quite a bit. And so, and let's have a look at that in 3D and see what we got now. Um, there, there's another nice looking table. And let's change that top to uh, oval, or actually it's an ellipse, uh, elliptical. So we'll have to change that, but um, um, so that's a really nice table. Let's just do a couple other things before we get out of here. We can change the height of the of the um, the bottom arc. If we're coming up from the bottom, we can change the width of our legs. Um, let's do something kind of interesting here let's see what we get that's kind of an interesting shape but um, let's see let's just change this middle to 50 let's see what we get there and let's get this outside one let's see we want to change this top one to let's go up to um, That's another interesting table there. Let me change it back to uh, 500. And then let's go to 2D so we can look at it. So, as you can see, you can play with all the dimensions here and come up with some very interesting looking tables. Um, it's there for you to uh, enjoy so um, that's about it thank you